Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make two jump scares. Each of these use pretty much the same mechanism, but we have two different designs for you. First up we have the coffin jump scare. Here are all of the materials that we will need for the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Begin by digging a row of three in the ground. One, two, three. Dig down one row further. One, two, three. With the hole dug, I then want you to place a piston where you want the jump scare to be, facing upwards. Then, fill the rest of the hole with redstone dust. Dig one row further outwards from the dust, and then place another dust. Above this will be how we trigger the jump scare. What we now want to do is place our armor stand on the piston, with the player head on top, or whatever it is you want to be on your armor stand. We're now going to throw down a crafting table, open it up, place a leather tunic in here with black dye because that is what I want my jump scare to be wearing. I'm going to place it on here and then we want to place a bed to cover up, or at the very least partially cover up our jump scare. He should just be peeking out of the top here, kind of maliciously. What we now want to do is grab ourselves the rest of our materials, and you know what, I'll wear this leather tunic. I think it's a good look for me. We want to place a solid plank block on the end. I say solid plank because we can actually make this out of pretty much any wood and trapdoor combination. We then want to place a pressure plate in front of the plank. We now want to place flipped up trapdoors all the way around our jump scare, so if we can just get ourselves into position and flip all of these up. That is absolutely perfect. And now all we have to do from here is place trapdoors above this as well. So we want to place trapdoors in such a way that once they're on top, we can open them and they flip up to the side like this. So the ideal situation is that we want to leave the coffin partially open, leaving the bottom block closed because we just have a plank here, but the rest of it is perfect, and we can just see our poor deceased Steve, and if we stand on this pressure plate right here, Steve pumps up, and he lets us know that he's still with us. And hey, we're even dressed the same. Twins! Next up, we have the grave jump scare, and here are all of the materials that we will need for this build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Begin by digging two rows down in the ground. One, two. Then place a redstone dust in the hole, and then in front of the dust dig three rows down. One, two, three. Place a piston faced upwards with an armor stand on top of the piston. We now want to outfit the armor stand with a zombie hat, and I'm also going to open up a crafting table, place a leather tunic with cyan dye in there, and I'm also going to place that on the armor stand. We now want to position a ponzol above the armor stand, and then above that, we want to place a piston faced downwards, like this. Activate the piston with a redstone, and that is perfect. So from here, we now want to dig behind the ponzol and place another ponzol. And left of these two ponzols, we want to dig out and replace with ponzol. Now we are going to grab some different materials. And at the end of the ponzol, we want to place back to back and side stairs to look like a gravestone. Then in front of our ponzol grave, which is meant to look like disheveled dirt, we want to place stone. 
with a stone pressure plate on top of where the redstone is in the ground. Now, to decorate the grave, we are going to place a couple of flower pots in front of the gravestone with a wither rose in one and a lily of the valley in the other. And then we're just going to place a bunch of candles on the front left hand corner of this, light them up with a flint and steel. And if we stand on this, then our zombie pops out to say hello. What can he say? It must get lonely in a graveyard. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell next to the subscription button. And that's pretty much it, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!